Hi there, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Jonathan and boy do I have a treat for you today. But before I jump into this video, I just want to read a comment from my previous video. This comment comes from Jakey who says, Money, sex, murder, and cute interior design is going to be the name of my tell-all biography. And I will be first in line to get it signed when you're on your book tour. Okay, let's get into today's video. You've already read the title of this video, so you already know I'm talking about Gwyneth Paltrow. And besides the fact that you can't say her name without sounding like you have peanut butter on the roof of your mouth, I've got a bone to pick with this woman, okay? This woman is evil. Maybe not like every villain is Lemon's evil, but like she's not great at all, really. Gwyneth is the founder, owner, and current CEO of a company called Goop, a company which calls itself a modern lifestyle brand. But why is it called Goop? Well, the G and the P are for her initials, uh, but what about the rest? What about those two silly little O's in the middle? Well, according to Paltrow, the company's name came from someone telling her successful internet companies have double O's in their name. And she, quote, wanted it to be a word that means nothing and could mean anything. Well, back in my day, goop meant something, uh, something very specific. And like the award-winning film she was in, Seven, I'm gonna leave that up for interpretation. So the company was incorporated in 2011 and their website, wow, it offers, whew. You know what, let's go shopping. Look at this $11,000 lamp. And don't worry because if you hate it and it doesn't match anything in your home, it is non-returnable. Meaning that this is strictly ideal for anybody who lives in Whoville and enjoys collecting Smurf nipples. <laughs> How about the 16 ounce wood spray? Yes, an interior scented spray for the low, low cost of $46. Let's take that to check out. Wow, okay, $51.95. You know what else you could do? You could get a wooden spoon from Ikea and just light that shit on fire. Yeah, look at this, $1.99 for the Rort. For the Rort spoon, <laughs> for the Rort spoon, beach. <laughs> God, I love the Swedish. Okay, let's get back to goop. And then we've got this Vesper vibrator necklace. Yes, you heard me correctly. For the low price of $149, this pretty bullet-shaped pendant is here for the transition from night out to night in. Can you imagine wearing this necklace that's actually a vibrator and this old woman comes up and she's touching it and she's like, oh honey, this pendant, wherever did you get it? Oh, it's a little slippery, why is it so greasy? <laughs> okay, it's waterproof, USB rechargeable and 20, 26, oh, the chain length is 26 inches. I was about to say, 26 inches, boop, at the cart. Boop, boop with the goop. And then we got Olga. Honestly, I can't even be mad at this. This is also 24 karat gold and it comes in a box like this. I can't even be mad at you. It's a, little, it's a gold vibrator. It just shivers in your lonely cavern. What is wrong with me? Can we call them chili willies? <laughs> What if they were called Chili Willies? That'd be funny. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm steering away from the facts that this is $3,490. $3,490. That's not even taxed. And then we've got Goop Wellness. This is the Knock Me Out. 30 Soft Chews Dietary Supplements. $55. $55 for some chloroform starbursts. Gwyneth. And if you've got a spare $75 to spend on a candle, you can get this. But Goop isn't just an e-retailer, okay? It's also got wonderful sources for alternative medicine. These are not air quotes. This is one I wanna do to my eyes after reading these articles. So one thing Goop has talked about on their website and through their newsletter is V-steaming. I'm sure you know exactly 
what that means. Written in this Goop article, it says, you sit on what is essentially a mini throne and a combination of infrared and mugwort steam cleanses your uterus and claims to balance female hormone levels. Well, a 62 year old woman did this twice. The woman ended up being hospitalized with second degree burns after steaming her hoo-ha over a boiling pot of herb infused water. Twice. Goop has written articles that also talk about earthing, which is essentially just connecting with the ground, grounding yourself rather, kind of taking off your shoes and walking through the mud. Well, Jimmy Kimmel asked Gwyneth Paltrow about this when she was on his show, and this is what she had to say about it. What is earthing? Er oh, okay. So one of the things we like to do on Goop is find kind of what alternative the alternative world says about like, you know, feeling good in the modern day world. So earthing, I don't actually know that much about earthing and it came out of me not knowing anything about earthing, but hearing about it. It's kind of, they say that we've lost touch with sort of being barefoot in the earth and that there's some type of electromagnetic thing that we're missing. And that is so true. it's good to take your shoes off and walk in the grass. Okay. I don't know what the <laughs> we talk about. <laughs> Ooh, and get a load of this jade egg. The jade egg is an ancient um, Chinese practice where women insert the jade egg in their lady parts. Right. And um, to help tone the pelvic floor. How does it help do that? I don't know. I need to start my <laughs> jade egg practice. She literally just said she basically knows nothing about it. And it's crazy because I did a simple Google Scholar search and it landed me in an academic article written by two doctors. And a quick look at their abstract tells us. Jade is actually porous. It's a porous stone, so it can harbor bacteria that you're putting in your pooch pouch. I guess it's not my business what you do, but just gonna let you know, maybe don't. She's also selling body vibe stickers, which are literally stickers you stick on your body that are supposed to give you good vibes for the low, low cost of It's just blowing my mind that this entire company is like running on a scam. And not only is it still going, but it is worth about a quarter of a billion dollars. A quarter of a billion dollars. Run by a CEO who has said she doesn't know what goes on on her website, okay? Clearly Gwyneth Paltrow doesn't really know what's going on ever, because let's take a look at this. On this Instagram post of Zendaya wearing this Tom Ford number, Gwyneth Paltrow commented on it saying, thank God I can say I have something in common with Zendaya, mostly because Gwyneth Paltrow had recently worn it for Harper's Bazaar 2020 edition. Um, <laughs> her comment was followed up with, Gwyneth, you're both in Spider-Man. Yes, let's not forget, Gwyneth Paltrow didn't know she was in the Spider-Man movie. Yeah, man. Well, yeah, we were in Spider-Man together. Remember we were on Spider-Man? We yeah. weren't in Spider-Man. Yes, we, yes, we were. Homecoming. You were in Spider-Man. No. Yeah. I was in Avengers. No, you Avengers. were in Spider-Man also. It's what? become... Remember Spider-Man at the end and, and, the, and, and Tom Holland's there and you're going to walk out and do a press conference and I oh, give you the ring? yes. That was Spider-Man. That was Spider-Man? <laughs> so it's crazy to me that this company is not only still in business, but thriving. Uh, well, actually, truthinadvertising.org had done some deep dive research and they found over 50 instances in which Goop was making false claims. I'm going to link the whole thing down below because you can see everything that they found. It's insane, okay? And it doesn't stop there because you're going to find Goop sailing your seven seas. That's right. Celebrity Cruise is going to be having a Goop cruise line. What? 
And if you didn't know, Netflix is actually going to be dropping a series called The Goop Lab, and it comes out, I think, January 24th, 2020. So as I film this, it hasn't happened yet. But if you watch it, you're just adding money to this woman's pocket. Gwyneth Paltrow is the founder, owner, and CEO of this scamming company. And she continues to make money, and then will sit in an interview and say, I don't know what the <laughs> We talk about it. I just cannot get behind it. I just cannot. I can't. I used to like Gwyneth Paltrow, and at this point, it's like it says a lot about her character and who she truly is as a person. However, her song with Huey Lewis, Cruisin', that will always be a bop. And in this video, I barely scraped the surface of Goop and all of its insanity, okay? Man, I am exhausted from all of that. Maybe I need one of them good vibe stickers. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. I would greatly appreciate it. Comment below. If I like your comment, I'll read it in the next video. So until next time, keep them jade eggs out to hoo ha. I don't need anybody commenting below. I got a yeasty. You nasty, okay? I'm telling you here first. Keep them out to hoo ha. <laughs> what's in the box? Oh my god, wait, I found out what's in Gwyneth Paltrow's box. It's a jade egg. <laughs>